This is the battery mag, a neat solution to keep track of the batteries from your mirrorless camera. The Cinema 5D Virtual Show is brought to you by B&H, the professional source for all your video needs. CVP, the leading specialist in creative cine, video and photo solutions. Fujifilm, value from innovation. Atomos, better monitoring, better recording. And Nanlite, professional lighting solution. Welcome everybody to this episode of the Cinema 5D virtual show, our virtual replacement for the NAB that never happened. We doubt there will be any more trade shows this year, which is why we do our interviews remotely. And today it is my pleasure to welcome Tim Irwin uh, in the US. How are you? I'm doing well. Thank you so much. So you are a filmmaker yourself, right? Yes, that's correct. So what kind of films do you make? Uh, anything nonfiction and documentary is kind of what I get excited about. Very cool. A mutual friend, Ethan Win Vincent, uh, introduced uh, us to you. And uh, yeah, and uh, he showed me what you are actually have been up to in, in this quarantine. Yeah, it's, um, you know, it's an idea that I had uh, several years ago. And, um, you know, when we were on shoots with small cameras where you're kind of burning through a lot of batteries and sometimes on shoots where there's multiple camera guys and you're all drawing from similar uh, battery pools, sometimes it was really tricky to keep those organized and I wanted a way to um, not have them shaking around in the bag and also be able to tell at a glance which ones are charged and which ones are ready, uh, ready to go, which ones are dead. So. So I know that there is a solution like that for AA batteries that I use a lot, but um, I think you're totally right. There's nothing that I know of uh, for a lot of other battery types. Um, so what does it look like? Uh, yeah, well, here's an example of one that um, is for the Sony uh, uh, NPW50s. Uh, so this holds four of them. But uh, yeah, this is uh, what they look like. They come in three slot and four slot. And have them currently for um, Panasonic, Canon, Sony, the most popular models from those. Nice. Any plans to attach some kind of little, you know, connector like for a belt or something like that? I think that could be pretty nice, you know, just to have the batteries there on your belt. <laughs> yeah, you're not the first person to suggest that. There's been a, a I've gotten several emails of folks that um, have a few ideas. And so there's a few things clicking around and maybe we'll implement some of those. But uh Right now, we're just trying to hustle to keep up with the demand on the products that we have. Yeah, you got a nice article in DP Review, our, uh, a website that we are good friends with, actually. So I'm sure you got a lot of orders from that, right? Yeah, we got a nice little bump from that one. So that was that was fun. Are you actually, how are you making them? They're 3D printed? Yeah, so I'm just 3D printing all of them uh, in my basement. Um, you know, when I started kind of uh, thinking about how to actually execute this, I... At first was um, digging around for uh, possibilities to kind of mass produce them. And uh, the more I looked into it, the more I just thought, you know, I, I really have no idea how many of these I'm going to sell. And the idea of making them in my own basement where I could control every step of the process and, and make sure that the quality was up to my standards. And um, it just felt like that was the right way to go. So that's what I'm doing. Well, I'm sure you will have to buy more 3D printers uh, very soon uh, if the demand keeps going up. I've already uh, got three on the way. One's showing up today, another one showing up next week, and the, the fourth one is uh, uh, about four weeks away. So Very cool. So you're basically, you're just shipping them from home, right? You, people yeah. just order from your website? That's correct, yeah. The, the orders come in, which again, this is way out of my wheelhouse. I've never done anything like this before in the past, so I'm learning along the way. And uh, My wife, thankfully, is super organized, and she's kind of keeping... Uh, all of that side of things on task and she helps me get them all packed up and shipped out and, and making sure we're keeping track of um, cool. all the orders. It's always our wives who are the organized ones, isn't it? <laughs> There's something about uh, camera guys, like on set, like it's no problem. Like, I, you know, I'm a super organized and meticulous about my gear, but when it comes to paperwork or things of that nature, I'm, I'm a bit of a mess. So, um, yeah, how much is one of those? Uh, they're all right around 10 bucks. Each model varies a little bit differently just based on um, uh, how much plastic is in it and uh, how long it takes me to print one of them. So the cheapest one is uh, $9 and the most expensive one is the, um, uh, this, the one that holds batteries for this, the Panasonic S1 series. Uh, and those ones are $14. 
Okay, very cool. And plus shipping, I guess. Yeah, plus shipping. Yep. And uh, yeah, we ship internationally. Uh, I, I'm based in the U.S., um, but we've we've had probably. I would say not quite a quarter of the orders have been from overseas. Very, very cool product. Very simple, but I think uh, something that has been overseen by all the camera companies and accessory companies so far, which is why you, as somebody who's working uh, with the cameras every day, identified the problem and made a solution. That's the best that can happen, I think. So, yeah, good, good luck with everything. And I hope you get an even bigger bump after our report here. And yeah, thank you, Tim. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thanks everybody for watching and stay tuned to Cinema 5D for more virtual show videos like this one. Uh, we are trying to highlight as much cool stuff as possible. If you know something that needs to be covered, just drop us a line and we'll surely look into that. And uh, yes, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't yet. Thanks.